Hello and welcome one and all back to the contingency server. I play the MPD and your host. And Nervous is King of UHE 7. 17. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I recommend going to watch it. But today what we're going to do is we're going to expand uh, the sort of theme over here into this, the main base. Oh yes. Oh yes. We're going to build the main base. We're going to build some of the main base because I've got a lot planned for this. As you can see, the footprint is not small. And as a main base, this requires considerable more care and attention than that building. So it's going to be a bit of a different style as well. That one is built with thick roof, thick walls, so that we could put lots of things different on the inside versus the outside. This one is going to be a thinner more slender, more elegant building, hopefully. Got a couple of pieces of news for you guys. Uh, first of all, new microphone. Hope you're all enjoying the sound. I am not actually 100% sure this is better than my old microphone, but it's certainly easier on my ears because my old headset actually kind of hurts my ears a little bit because the cups are not sort of they don't really close my ears, they kind of sit on the, the, you know, the edge of your ear. And for five minutes, that's fine, but for two hours, that's not fine. So I've been living with that. But also, um, I've been a bit worried because my sound cards, well, let's just say, I'm wearing a headset right now, which has very good sound, actually has surround sound kind of built into it, as much surround sound as a headset can get. Uh, so it's very nice and it, it's good to wear while playing sort of PvP games, like I've worn it we while wearing various PvP stuff, uh, because it lets you hear where the enemy is coming from very precisely, you know. Uh, but the downside is that its microphone does not work properly. so. It goes into the 3.5 millimeter jack on the sound card, and the microphone from the headset that I was using to record is USB. I'm in the wrong chest because I can't concentrate on talking and and doing things at the same time. No comments about multitasking, please. Anyway, so hopefully this microphone turns out well. Uh, I wanted to test the 3.5mm jack on my sound card because I thought that that was actually the problem. Because I could hear sound, like the microphone was actually producing sound. It just was at an extremely low volume. No, you couldn't hear it at all, really. It was ridiculous, like 30, 40, 50 decibels lower than what it should have been. So hopefully this improves now. I need some bone meal. Do we have some bone meal here? Oh, we have some light blue dye. That's even better. And a crafting table. I'll have that. This uh, this here potion machine, this has got to go. So let's actually just take that down. Got enough inventory slots? Mm, maybe. That sounds really strange. Doesn't sound right. Oh look, there's some mycelium left. <laughs> That's funny. These block breaking sounds do not sound right at all. Is that because of my resource pack? No. I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to it. This is different headphones, so... Well, anyway. This hole, by the way, that's the fish farm, and you need the hole to let the rain in, basically. Makes it more efficient. Oh, look at that, we have run out of inventory slots after all. So these headphones are nice to listen through, but the microphone doesn't work. Which is why I've been using the other microphone for, or the other headphones for a while because their microphone does actually work. And we need to switch back. 
pure PD craft. Oh yeah. All right, one sec. There we go. Now I need to dump some of this stuff. Um, you can probably guess that a lot of that build is going to be made of quartz, and if you thought that, then you would be right. A lot of it is going to be made of quartz. Dirt. Maybe keep a little bit. Now that I've established that the 3.5 mil jack on my sound card does actually work, um, because I've I I didn't want to take a big risk, so I bought a cheap microphone to sort of make it, you know, if if it doesn't work, then it's not a big deal if I never have the opportunity to use that microphone again. But it looks like I will, and quite possibly I might even consider buying a yet more expensive and higher quality microphone. So we will have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to record with this and see what the sound is like. This is partially experimental, but I have tested it a bit, obviously. I'm not a complete moron. So, uh, let me know what you think of the sound, guys. Let me know. Alright, in here we need some clay. I've got a crafting table, don't I? Yes, I do. Great stuff. So, this is going to be along uh, with our theme... Maybe I should just make one, two stacks rather. This is going to be along with our theme of having a kind of resort island theme going. So this is going to be like the resort hotel type deal. And the bottom floor is the lobby. And there's going to be a bar with drinks. Potions, if you hadn't guessed. Anyway, I'm going to work away here, and, okay, looks like I'm going to need a lot more clay, so let's make some more. Uh, I'm going to head, uh, oh, I'm going to come back to you guys when I've got a little bit more something, something to show. So, back in a second. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, Render distance on the server has been increased, which means we have a rare chance to see the entire island. You can see in the distance over there, there's the other island. And one other thing that I didn't know before was that the sort of grass color on the mushroom island seems to be altitude related. Weird. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at what we've been building over there. Oh, yeah. So, no Optifine on here, which means uh, I can't zoom in, but uh, that is first and second floors. Let's go have a closer look. You'll notice that my inventory has changed a bit. That's because I'm recording this fairly late, much later than the first section. Ooh, that's close. See if I can do this. Go! Oh, no, of course I can't. Go. Uh, go. There we go. I don't need torches like the Cretans. Ooh, it's needs coming. Sorry, I don't uh, have a good way of muting this new microphone yet. All right. So, oh, who knows? I may be able to mute that in the audio track if I can figure out a good way. Oh yeah, um, things I wanted to talk about. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been looking pretty heavily into the subject of video editing and uh, just the general idea of uh, re-encoding video or you know remuxing remuxing things I think it's supposed to be pronounced mux because it's short for multiplex so if you, if you say multi then I suppose you can say mux but if you say multi then I suppose you have to say mux but here we are this is the second floor got a little area here um, I'm going to turn down the render distance because I think this is having a uh, 
negative impact on frame rates. I think we'll go down to seven like usual. Just make things nice and smooth. I think it was relatively smooth before, but uh, just wanted to maintain good quality video. So here's my outdoor patio area. And obviously there's gonna be a roof on top of this. Um, I think we'll have a third floor as well. I'm not sure though, because I haven't actually designed that part. And got uh, some lighting here. So if we look from underneath, you can see that there's lights on and we've just covered up the redstone blocks with these slabs and we've put the blue on the lights like in there and some lighting along the floor so usually if we view this with moody brightness it's not lit up like a battlefield but it's also not dark so I think that's good during daytime you know the the light shines through here and there will be glass on top of the roof so that the, the light comes through. I think that should be good. Out here I've made a large flat bit of terrain. I'm not quite sure how to handle this. I sort of have a concept of making it look as if it's really been landscaped. So around the edges I've got this stone um, stone slabs going around the edges of that, but also around the edges of the landscaping. So I'm going to have like a terraced garden design. This isn't going to be grass. There's going to be plants and stuff here, uh, but low plants because, you know, we want people to be able to enjoy the view as well. So maybe just a few flowers and stuff, maybe a couple of two tools. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to see it at night. Good. So here I've kind of tried to start with the second level of this landscaping idea this terraced garden oh I can't get up there so in theory this should all become stone brick here uh, because if something's being supported like if the if the earth is being kept back by the stone brick then it's going to be kept back by something and it's that's the stone brick so that's why we've got that there. But I'm just not quite sure how to handle the the. Uh, I was going to say back end, then I thought, no, that's going to be innuendoish. And then I was going to say rear, and then I thought, mm, that's still going to be innuendoish. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle the uh, rear end of this. Might make it sort of gradually fade into the landscape. That sounds kind of good to me, but again, I haven't really worked out where the border between this terraced garden and that natural fadiness is going to be. So this all needs to come out too, obviously. Um, and the width of this is going to be three blocks, I believe. Let's see if that works out. One, two, three, yeah. And then the stone brick is the next one? Yeah, okay, so it's three. Perfectly fine for grass to grow on there. In fact, we want that. Because that'll make it look good when we plant whatever we want with plant in there. Um, at the front here, I've got this staircase. Um, I was thinking of just doing one straight down, but then I thought, hmm, kind of look a bit cool if it sort of went in from the sides. And you know, because this is going to be like a main thoroughfare for the island, people are going to be coming through here, coming to the visitor center, or you know, going to get their juicy goodies from the storage house. It kind of makes sense to have stairs on the side because if somebody's traveling this direction and they're coming up here. Or if they come in from the beach because they've just had a nice swim, they'll be coming up here. So yeah. Anyway, um, in keeping with the sort of islandish theme, I've got these sort of Central American slash uh, Easter Islandish motifs on the floor. 
and I think it's looking uh, well I'm pleased with how it's looking um, even at night time you can see it's not dark but it's not lit up like it's you know it's not lit up like a doctor's surgery lighting has to be there but not so as you'd notice especially in Minecraft where we have terrible terrible lighting options either beacons which is super expensive or everything else which is rubbish except these lamps I guess they're okay um, but yeah that's why I went with hidden lighting for this entire build here because the lighting in Minecraft is let's say deficient let's just, just say that oh yeah like the beacon texture I do anyway oh uh, I should show you at the back underneath the stairway over here there's gonna be extra stuff so this is gonna go down there's gonna be more things going on I haven't decided exactly what but I know that there's gonna be at least one thing which I'm very excited about building down there up here is where we're gonna have enchanting and down here is where the bar is so um, as I don't really have much else to say about progress on this why don't we try to build this bar because that's gonna be hard because I have absolutely no ideas and I haven't really thought about it that much but Hopefully we can come up with something nice. Yeah, probably want some lighting. Tell you what, I'm going to think about it a little bit, maybe do some creative uh, testing, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've got an inventory just full of stuff. And uh, I actually didn't look up anything on, uh, on the interwebs or uh, try anything out yet. What I want to do is do some experimentation on camera, so I just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I thought might be useful and uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes okay so we got this light here so I was thinking the bar should kind of maybe it should be like a sweeping curved bar that would kind of work with the rest of this building too so I'd say maybe like oh that's not really a curve is it Maybe more like that. Need my pickaxe on slot one. That's useful. Oops. Too much mining. That light really doesn't belong there, does it? Okay, let's get rid of this light. Do I have inventory slots for everything? No, I don't. Blast and damn. You know what? Since I'm going to be using that later anyway, let's just. And we cannot place it, of course not. Why would you be able to? It's a minecart. It doesn't go on anything. It's not a mine trap. Alright. I don't really need those two anyway. Let's get rid of this. Okay, we don't need that. Actually, the first thing that we should do is try this out, because that was a kind of interesting idea I had, is to make one of these vending machines. So we're going to have is that block hot powered or cold powered? I guess I can't really tell with what I've got here. No. Well, we're going to find out. It's coal powered. Good. That means we can put a button on a nearby block. Oh, we can even put it on this thing. Like that. Yeah. That's going to be for splash potions. Okay, and we'll put this... Oops, got going ahead. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, I'll be back. Okay, um, I'm actually going to leave this vending machine idea 
for a while because I didn't really think it through. But I did think the bar through. So I want it to be obsidian. Oh, look at that. We just have that ready to go for some strange reason. Um, like so that's why I wanted to trace it out before. Oh no. <laughs> that's what sucks about building here right now. Okay. Let's get back. Let's use the less powerful pickaxe. Being stupid. Alright, you go there. And the bar can also continue along here. And then this can be like a staff entrance. Hey, Nuke. Alright, that's good. I like that. Now, the bar has its own facilities. It's got a washing basin. Which I thought, where's my tripwire hook? I'm like 99% sure that I picked up a tripwire hook somewhere. Do I not have one? Alright, I guess I gotta go get one. So hey guys, we we've been been well. I hope so. You know, I looked at the drip wire hooked down, I didn't pick one up, that's what happened. Anything else here that might be interesting? <laughs> Could blow my bar up, I guess. Alright. I was mentioning before that I was I've been looking uh, pretty heavily into the whole, the whole idea, the whole what's possible with video editing and um, video modification software, all that stuff. Um, on the one side, you've got uh, programs that are like mixers and reencoders and stuff, and then on the other side, you've got just video editing suites. And there's a sort of in between thing as well, like. A lot of stuff that allows you to re-encode stuff is also involved in editing, and ed pretty much everything that edits stuff also does re-encoding. But sometimes you don't want that. So for the backing, um, let's just choose a point where we want to have the back of the bar. So maybe over here, let's say. How does that look? Looks natural enough, I guess. Um, it can be freestanding, kind of like a open plan office, only it's a bar. I know you know what I mean. Okay, so we want we want a sink. This is where they do all their washing and stuff, you know, keep everything nice and clean. Um, and uh, this one happens to have water in it. Now, let's think about the lighting for this. I think we're going to want some... What I really want is my axe, but I don't have it on me right now. And it's more How did I get off that? How did I get off target there, I ask you? So let's let's mod Sugar cane. I've got plenty of sugar cane. You can come, you can come out to my mine. like I'm going to have to make stairs anyway, so that was kind of pointless. Let's do that. You know what I thought the recipe for stairs should be in Minecraft? That. Why isn't that the recipe for stairs? And why isn't that the recipe for a half slab? I have no idea, sometimes. Okay, sure, I need a stack. Now, how to power this thing? 
Maybe we should just have the light meet at the hub. Okay, I guess I'll have to go deliver him some sugar cane. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from delivering box stuff. And I'm just trying to the uh, lighting on for a size. I think that looks okay. Um, I'm not quite sure whether this bar needs to be like higher, but unfortunately there are no obsidian half slabs. So, yeah. I think that's going to have to do for now, really, to be honest. Okay, so the next thing the bar needs is a fridge with some uh, goodies in it. Which means that we need to get this chest out, because I need that minecart chest now. Because silly Reinhardt, silly Palladian, decided to just dump stuff any old way instead of doing it properly. So this is this is what the uh, bar staff used to pour people drinks. I can put some drinks on this side. This is like the beer tap, you know. And then uh, what else have we got around here? Okay, let's grab this guy. Second Minecraft chest I've made in uh, Minecraft chest I've made in Minecraft. The first one was just before when I made the that one. Um, do we need? Uh, no, we don't need that. Okay. So the fridge. The fridge is gonna have like a pedal that opens it, I guess. Or maybe I guess that pedal should not be there. It should be. Um, well, let's take care of the fridge first. So, the fridge, we should put it like over here. Which way did the door face if I just put it down? Not the right way, okay. That's the downside of... Oh yeah, that works, good. And then, you know, if you access the sink, you can open the fridge at the same time. Cool. And then... Um, yeah, get rid of this block. Carefully. And then we need to grab this guy. I've tried this trick a few times, but not recently, so I hope it still works the way I think it works. We put that there and then grab the rail. Can you give it to me? Thank you. And then you stick that there and a piston. And I've got a lever. Excellent. Okay, so it doesn't look awesome like from here, but maybe we should bring some light into it. So it doesn't look black. Because the idea was that this minecart is like accessible. And I'm going to put some stuff that I'm going to actually use in there. Well, if I find a better way to do it, then I'll, uh, then I'll do that. But for now, that's good enough. I'm fine with that. So, what else did I want to do for this bar? Okay, we need this chest, so let's grab that. Again, missing my axe. Mm -hmm. Get you out of the way. And we'll just um, put it like there. Shelf, uh, cupboards. And then next to the sink, obviously, they need some shelves. Does that look right? Does that look right to you? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I should do three minecart chests. And then, like, have two more here. 
kind of I kind of like that idea actually. Although mm, it's kind of hard to do them next to each other if I recall correctly. So maybe you can tell I'm a pro at this, right? Now let's leave it at that as as that for now. Um, actually, let's move the fridge. We'll put some shelf space right here. So the fridge is going to be there. Lovely. And you can go there for now. Did I get it? Probably. Let's see. Yes. And over here, we're going to have just countertops and then the fridge door goes here normal fridges oh, I, th I think people turn their fridges based on what they okay that doesn't work did I do something wrong here? alright oh, of course I forgot the uh, the rails which I can't get now. <laughs> Talk among yourselves. Seriously, how did I break them before? <coughs> um, what's the deal here? Okay then, I'll just place the minecart here. I don't understand that. I know there's a reason for it, but I just don't get it. Doesn't work either, does it? Okay, be right back when I figure this out. Okay, for my money, the bar area is complete. Let me talk you through it. Here we have the beautiful bar. We have some drinks ready for preparation, and as you can see, they're awkward potions. Over here we have the kitchen, uh, slash bar work area. Here we have the sink. The fridge is over here with some ingredients that are being kept fresh in the fridge and we also have um, we got space for the new rabbit foot once we get to 1.8 over here we have some some cupboards in which we're keeping drinks this one contains the sort of more unusual drinks that the discerning customer will ask for and over here is the sort of thing that just anybody drinks so I've got some speed potions and some fire resistance that kind of thing up there is the kind of you know liquor shelves that are used for mixing drinks in bars it's really just an aesthetic detail I think it looks alright um, I tried a bunch of different stuff uh, that was like the only element that I actually tried out in creative and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I, I have to say and then I've got some nice couches for the guests to chill out on when they're at the end of their long day and they're having a nice drink and then here we got the record player with most of the record I'm missing two blocks and meow meow whatever some some other one that starts with M I think um, this thing I think we'll just get rid of this I don't think we're gonna have a vending machine in here it'll compete with the bar Unless I can think of a much better way to implement that, I'm going to leave it gone. So, for now, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've certainly enjoyed doing a bit of design work for once. This is PlayDMPD, and I'm signing out. See you soon.